Right now, home is supposed to feel safe. Our homes are a sanctuary from everything happening with COVID-19, but for some, there is no peace. Tammy Rogers is the volunteer and education coordinator at the Domestic Violence Service Center serving Luzerne and Carbon counties. She says that the center is available 24-7 for those in need of help. The abusers now have another way of being able to control the victims. We're not seeing as many hotline calls that are, you know, that come in. Usually we have over 500 calls, um, you know, a month, and those calls have been really reduced. The problem is, is that the abusers are, with the um, stay at home order, everybody's staying at home and the victims don't have the opportunity to get into a safe place to be able to uh, call the hotline to find out what their options are. Uh, the abusers are controlling like hand sanitizer and uh, disinfectants from the uh, from the victim. They're also using the control factors of uh, threatening that they're going to go out and get the COVID-19 and bring it home to the victim as well. Uh, a lot of people don't want to come out to the shelter because of the fact that our shelter is communal living. And a lot of times, you know, you're gonna, you might run the risk of having to share a room with somebody who might have come in contact with the COVID-19. Or even those people who may be um, elderly or they might have health risks that they don't wanna come out to a shelter because of the fact that they could contract the virus. But we're doing everything possible to make sure that the victims are staying safe as far as not only with the virus. Oh, is your shelter still open through this? Absolutely. Yeah, we're one of the essential businesses so that because we uh, are basically life sustaining, because people who are in uh, domestic violence situations, you know, they're in threat. They could be, you know, killed because of what their abuser might do. There was a report the other day from, um, oh, it was in another county, I think it was North Northampton something, or Northumberland that, they, uh, the guy strangled his girlfriend to death because he just couldn't take it anymore. Imagine how staying with in the same house with a person day after day after day and not having any outlet, how those tensions can rise. And especially if people are getting laid off of work, now they've got the financial issues on top of it. And it's just one thing right after another that is creating that whole domestic violence situation. And so we want to make sure that people are aware that they have um, that there are still options out there. Give us a call. We can kind of we can kind of safety plan with you. We can make sure that you are aware of the options that are available to you. And you mentioned not only are people maybe stuck at home with their abusers, but I mean tensions are high right now for everybody, and that could be a contributing factor here. Absolutely, um, they're seeing a rise in um, pet abuse. Pet abuse is one. Uh, factor that contributes to domestic violence because um, a lot of times the abuser will take out the abuse on the pet in order to get the power and control over another over the other person. Rogers told me that they're cleaning the shelter hourly and abiding by CDC guidelines to prevent the spread of COVID-19. She also says if you live in Schuylkill County and are experiencing abuse, you can still call the Domestic Violence Service Center and they will tell you where to get help in your area.